Hi Taurus. This is gonna be a reading for you. Okay. This is for all Taurians. Any placement, wherever you have Taurus in your chart. for this week coming we do have a Libra full moon coming up it feels very powerful okay Libra is known about um, Libra is known for justice okay Justice, setting things right, balancing things. It's also your partnerships. It's the rules the seventh house. All right, let's see. We got the Ten of Pentacles for you. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, Taurus. What's crossing you, though, is the Five of Cups this week. At the bottom of the deck, or the bottom of the spread, we have the Five of Wands. So it looks to be some type of um, this change, okay? Because we got two fives here. If you look at the number five, it moves in all different type of directions, okay? So this is something, and with the Wheel of Fortune here, there's a change here that's happening to us, Okay. I feel like it's time for you to see it, maybe. Something is changing. Okay, the Eight of Cups. So you decided to walk away from something or something became emotionally unattractive is what I just heard. Okay, Something became emotionally unattractive. So at the top of the deck, we have the Temperance. So you're being very patient with this, Taurus. You're being very patient with this situation. Yeah, you're managing with the two of pinnacles. But this change is like, really, I feel like um, coming up from with, with, uh, with under you? What the, I don't even know what that means. I feel like um, your base shot, I feel like you can feel it in your base chakra, like your base is changing, something about you is changing. This is very like Uranus energy, Uranus and Taurus. I'm feeling that strong right there. Okay, so we have as the advice, the hanged man. So the advice, you know, I feel like is gain a little bit more clarity you are in a hangman mode right now. I feel like you're moving on perfect timing with something. The environment is the six of pentacles. Okay, Libra energy with the scales. I feel like there is a balancing that is happening here for you, Taurus. All right, what you want and what you fear. Nine of pentacles. So it's like... Um, it's like you you want to be alone, but you also fear this of doing things on your own, being independent from something. Yeah, because you've walked away here in the past, right? From something unemotional or unattractive emotionally. You've walked away from this, but this is also what you're fearing being out on your own doing it or um, but it's what you want at the same time. The outcome is the sun. Wow, Taurus, this week, you know, and with the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, what do you want me to say? I feel like something very good is going to happen. Something that you've been waiting for, something that's been taking a while here with the Nine of Wands. And the Knight of Pentacles. You know, someone's offering you this money or this money is coming in. Yeah, there's a change here with the death card and the Knight of Swords showing itself. Okay. So 
so the advice is to you know with the hanged man there is um just i feel like this this week is important for you to kind of go with the flow let's get some of these cards here that i wrote down because that is one of those cards Ooh, like that's it yes yeah, spa and spiritual bath so it's important for you guys to get in the bath this week <laughs> spiritually spiritually really relax yeah that's what i said go with the flow so that's water right hold on Yeah. I feel like the tides are moving you or um We're going to put this back. Shh, Da Vinci. It's like, you know, these changes are going to kind of just happen. It's, I'm really getting like the tides. The ebb and flows. These things happen. There's something here that is just going to happen. Yeah, with this balancing here, it's like the same energy that comes in must go out. Okay, I'm getting a spiritual a, a law here. It's a universal law. Okay, that is at play here, Taurus. And I feel like you're on the, the good end of it. Okay, we got the Wheel of Fortune coming up upright. And we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Sun. So there's something coming in here that's kind of... I'm getting... I don't know. like It could definitely be a payout. Some money. All right, let's get some astral cards. Astral cards for Taurus for this week. With the Five of Wands showing itself here, I do feel like, you know, this change, you really had to fight for it or... There's something here where it didn't come easy, okay? It wasn't easy. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. There's something here that is changing for the better, but I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I don't know why I have to say that. So, okay, Taurus, this week. The third house. So a trip maybe or a um, something that you're going to do in your area, in your, in your city, your neighborhood. A trip to another state. Communication though, third house. Oh my gosh, Jupiter, okay. And Taurus, yeah. Look at this. So some of you guys could have Sun in the third house. It could be conjunct Jupiter. But I do feel like you're just having a lot of fortune here, Taurus, and money. Because, I mean, you do rule the second house. Something could be happening really important on Thursday. Jupiter rules Thursday. All right, with the North Node here, I do feel like you're going to be moving towards, you know, whatever. Yeah, with the Sun card coming out here, there's um, really abundant happiness coming in for you this week, Taurus. With Pisces coming under Taurus, you could be dealing with the Pisces. This could be um, in spirituality. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you're, you're, you're graduating in some type of way. You're... I heard your soul is prospering. All right, with the North Node. 
So that's the moon, right? Those are the sides of the moon, the node. I feel like the moon, your soul, your emotional levels are moving in the di correct direction. You're communicating with the right type of people. Okay, with Pisces here. That's the 12th house. So I feel like you are um, ascending. After the 12th, that's the last house. Um, in Virgo here. There's Libra. And Uranus. So do expect a very um, a beautiful change. We have the sun and, the, and Jupiter. It says... Un, ugh, it says an unexpected change in a relationship maybe especially if you're dealing with the Virgo but I feel like you've been putting some type of um, change in your day to day this could be um, at the gym you could you could have been getting into the gym with Virgo showing up okay caring about the body caring about what you put into your body I feel like expect an unexpected change in regards to that you could be meeting somebody at the gym okay all right in the first house yeah the body the first house aries energy though here what you want going after what you want how you react to it i do feel like in a relationship you could be all of a sudden standing your ground as well okay Um, let's get some Cupid cards for Taurus this week. Mature man. I always say this looks like the Hierophant to me with that number five. Bad health, okay. And distant horizon. So you may have to go see someone at a distance who is not feeling well. You might want to go and bring them a gift. Yeah, because you've been working a lot. So you want to share with your family or your community. You have unexpected money coming in. There could be a mature woman, maybe your mom, that you want to give money to. There could be something from the courts coming up, though. This could be Libra energy that you're focusing on this change. Yeah, concern. Somebody is also really concerned about um, getting married or like getting serious. You may think that this is going to steal your time away from you. Yeah, it's worrying you so much. I feel like this Libra moon Taurus is going to have you really worried about a relationship and I feel like you know realize that these kind of um come and go <laughs> not relationships but these feelings right the moon cycles that ebb and flow that I was getting okay so we have caution and power Ooh. okay i'm getting a few messages from this so there's a message here like be aware of what you are um fueling yourself with okay what gives you power what what your focus is on 
All right. So if you're fueling yourself with um, meditation and, um, you know, quiet time, you know, that's going to direct your focus in on a certain thing or, you know, on what you really desire. But if your focus is on, you know, whatever the next show is or the girl down the street or the, your boys or whatever, like that's going to fuel you in some type of a way here. All right, we do have abundance, clarity, and omen. So I feel, you know, here, I feel like this is a separate message. It's strange, though. It's like. Okay, so with abundance, I feel like be be aware of how you're spending your money, okay? This is coming right under caution. And with chance, it's like, you know, are you just taking a chance and just gambling your money? With power, power and clarity, crystal ball, it's like... Those same lightning things are, they look, this looks like lightning again. I feel like there's more for you to focus on or there's more out there. I don't know. Because I'm getting like someone trapped in a ball or someone trapped in side because we have this ball here with this lightning happening and then someone's inside looking out the window more glass something to do with glass here and gamble i knew that was going to show itself so i'm really getting it's strange i'm really getting like um what you watch or what you are feeding yourself is creating the environment outside of you. I mean, we know that, right? I feel like that's very important for you to understand at this time. All right, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you.